Hi, I am back again. This time, this is <coughs> Euro Demo number five. There are four video, uh, sorry, four playable games and one video. But however, um, I think there is actually a sixth piece of content on this disc. Um, I've seen a video of this in the past. It says there's five on the cover, but I think there's actually six pieces of content. Here we go. Ooh, fancy. I uh, just gotta make sure smoothing's on. Smoothing is on. Brilliant. Okay, so Mickey. Assault Rigs. Actra Soccer. Lone Soldier. Or uh, Thunderhawk 2. Total NBA. And Mickey. So. <clears throat> I think Lone Soldier is actually not on the disc cover. From what I'm reading here. Total NBA is a two player demo. Thunderhawk is a playable demo. Assault Reeks is a playable demo. Mickey's Wild Adventure, aka Mickey on this screen, is a playable demo. Actress Soccer is a documentary video. And from what I know, Lone Soldier actually isn't on the demo disc cover, so I actually don't know what that is. So that's going to be fun, isn't it? So we're going to be working this one out ourselves. So we're going to get a surprise, I reckon. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Mickey Mouse. This should be good. Everyone likes a good bit of Disney. Hopefully it's not going to be too hard. In fact, there's more playable content. That's always good. There he is, Mickey Mouse. Pencil. Oh, was I not supposed to press X there? Lonesome Ghosts! The Lonesome Ghosts, 1937. Okay. Hiya, pal! Okay. So, D-pad, what does that do? Okay, two buttons. Cool. Should be easy enough. <coughs> oh, Goofy's friendly. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, shit. Now, <clears throat> I've seen in past videos that these ghosts end your game straight away, which is a bit strange. Oh. Let's just see how far we go, shall we? So if you hold um, D-pad on, up on the D-pad, it does this, which is interesting. Oh, how do you? Ah, <gasps> no. Oh, God, I can't make this jump. Oh, come on. I can't make this jump. No. Okay. I can't make this jump. Whoa. Oh, this is sucky, isn't it? Come on. Oh crap. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh oh. Ghost. Get up. Here we go. Mhm. Mm okay, I see where I need to go. Oh, what the hell? How am I supposed to make that? Oh yeah. Oh, I've got a star. Nice. Where do I need to go? Oh, okay. Oh. There's a ghost there. Oh. 
Hi. Well, um, <clears throat> didn't really know anything about that. That's hard as well. I couldn't really make those jumps very well. Oh well, screw it. Sorry, that's the end of that. Salt Reeves. I have to keep in mind as well that these games are the first time I'm ever playing these. So obviously, like, un unless like Wipeout comes up at some point, any Wipeout game and other things like that, I've not really played any of these games. So, I don't think I'm doing too bad, though. I know there are people out here who can complete these, like... Entering arena. Oh no, that I need to try again. No, I need to try that again. <clears throat> Let's try again. Didn't barely make it anywhere. I got to, uh, two killed two people, and that was it. Sorry, that's not going to be enough. We need to do that again. <clears throat> Entering arena. Okay. Let's try this again. Now I know the controls are going back. There we go, it's better. Ah, okay. That makes it a little bit easier. understand what I was doing. I knew I was shooting people but I didn't make it anywhere. Ugh. Screw it. That's all of assault that's all I'm gonna do of assault rigs because well couldn't work it out. Actual soccer this is a documentary video. Wanted to see a better gameplay of assault rigs, but I mean, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Oh, 
Basically, I'm writing the and designing the logic and the game intelligence. Uh, that part of the game will involve uh, user control, so the user can make the game playable, uh, make it look realistic, uh, whip, join the animation together, and make the actions flow into each other. Beforehand, most people just worked on sprites, but now we've got motion capture animation. Motion capture is recording movements of people or things in three dimensions so a computer can animate figures using real movements <coughs> rather than artificial animations. A person doing the motion capture has to be covered in small reflective markers. They then can do their movements inside an area surrounded by six cameras. The cameras record the images of the markers and then a computer converts that into three-dimensional movement. It gives it a very much more realistic edge. You can, you can really picture the person who originally did the moves, it looks like... Don't they use, like, dots It does nowadays. make it a lot more technically complicated, though. Continuity particularly, we have to use a technique used to use little balls back in the day, and now they're using dots, Which is in-betweening, where we have to meld one motion capture into another smoothly, so you don't see the joins where they were. The 44 main uh, ranking countries uh, in the world, uh, you can play various competitions, uh, you know, selecting from those 44. You know, you can play league systems, cup, you know, competitions friendly games. The main difference between the PSX and the PC version is um, in the way the players have been rendered. Um, what we've tried to do is make use of all the hardware capabilities of the PlayStation. Um, for example, the players have been rendered using a lot of polygons to give them much more detail. Um, I do like watching videos of these actually when you look because at them on screen, um, they look a it's good to, hear, uh, to see um, how they... If you look at the, P um, the PC like, version, the players... Go through how they made the game and stuff and, um, like that. I still watch some of it, most of it today, especially with the latest ones. Not on the PlayStation. We took inspiration from sort of the, the modern TV stations, Sky Sports, and things like that, and tried to get it to look as um, as real as possible. I'm Neil, and uh, I'm a musician. I write, I write most of the music for this company. Um, do a few sound effects, record speech. Um, and motivate the masses with my larkish humour. Yeah. I've just been doing some rough demos at the moment. And been me. writing a few <coughs> with, a, with a couple of other guys. Bless me. Um, been doing a bit of the script and stuff. Um, it's coming along. I think it's going to be sharp and to the point. Well, the sound we use is the commentator Barry Davis, as everyone knows, and he did about four thousand samples for us, um, which is you know far in excess of what we expected. I'm working on a wall of honour on, on my board up there on the wall. Um, at the moment I've got Andy Sinton and Chris Woods as you can see and uh, also I've got when I met the beautiful South and a few other people up there but Barry Davis, when I get my picture developed, Barry's at the top of that. As I've said quite often it's become a bit of a cliche of mine, one man's commentator is another man's irritation. And so I believe what you don't say is as important as what you do say. Yeah. And commentators actually as a breed, we all talk too much, it's almost a, a qualification for the job. Um, it's not so much l l liking the sound of your own voice, but you do sort of go, go <coughs> with the flow. Now, I've seen sort of some things in arcades, and I can remember sort of my son having, uh, when we first bought him a computer years ago, I mean, once I'm of the generation that once children know far more about these things than, than parents. Came up with the actual name, Actual Soccer, and designed the logo. Actual meaning actual action taken from um, the motion capture rather than anything virtual. Man, look at those um, old I'd rather computers. Not Holy yeah. shit. Well, people took it too far. William Gibson and Ruby my age Rucker, now. Um, put out the map. Back in the days of Windows XP and, and Windows 95 and 1996. Hmm. My job as producer is basically keeping all the programmers, graphic artists, musicians, uh, uh, commentary programmers all in the same direction uh, making sure that you know everybody's pulling together as a team working together as a team you know and in the end to produce the best football game there is on the market well I'll tell you what I think about your soccer I think it's the most realistic game <coughs> play wise and player wise how the players oh. run about little back heels that are flicks to each other it's the most realistic looking game I've ever seen the artwork's absolutely amazing uh, the front end makes you want to play it. I've seen it and I was drooling over it myself. I think it's amazing. And for me to actually appear in it, or not appear in it, but the movements appear there, it's, um, like I say, it's a dream come true. 
Okay, that was that. Okay, uh, halfway through the disc. Uh, next up is Lone Soldier, which is the one we have no idea what this is, so this should be interesting. This could be playable. <clears throat> could be a video. Judging by the way it came up with the demo logo, I think it's playable. Oh dear, graphical glitches at the bottom there. Stretch it out. Loading. Right. Oh, you can aim. Oh, oh no. Um, Lone Soldier. What's next? Thunderhawk 2. This is playable. It says Thunderhawk, but it's Thunderhawk 2. Hmm. That's a nice loading screen. For PlayStation 1 purposes. Copy on the code one seven nine er. This is a green light for a go go go. Okay. Up, down. What's that? That's done. It's a missile. Suggest evasive action. Bandits incoming and looking real me.
going back. Main 
target dead ahead. Repeat, main target dead ahead. Where is the main target? wasn't it? <laughs> oh god. This has not gone well today, has it? Final thing on the disc. Total MBA 96. I've had better days filming demo discs. There you go. This is a two-player demo, apparently, so... Okay. No idea how to play, which is not good. That's all I'm hearing at the moment. Ticking clock. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen please, please welcome, welcome your Orlando Magic. Magic. Looking at the team stats, it looks like they're pretty evenly matched. Incredible. What? What happened there? Did he just end? Oh. Let's go back in. Oh dear. This is not going well. Is it now? Let's try again. Maybe I pressed select by mistake or something. I don't actually know what happened there, but there you go. Ladies and gentlemen. Right. Okay. Doesn't tell me. Right. Looking at the team stats, it looks like they're pretty evenly what? matched. Intercepted. Oh, what a shot! This is 
circles pass. Intercepted. That's a long pass. No, stop. No. Lock. In and out. In and out. And shoot. Triangle. Ooh, terrible. Oh, no, it? Incredible. Oh, it scores. Yeah. I did it. Okay, how do I change player? No. Intercepted. Okay. Intercepted. Oh, okay. Sun ball. There you go. I scored. I'm more than happy about that. Incredible! Intercepted. Oh shit. No. Intercepted. Intercepted. Oh, two four. Oh, come on, it ain't bad, is it? That was all right. Oh well, there you go. Um, at least I had a decent demo to end it. Okay, I don't know what happened the first time, but there you go. Um, you know what we're gonna do? Um, because assault rigs was so minutely crap. We're going to do one last attempt on it and redeem myself if I can. Um, we'll do this one last time. If it doesn't work out, I'm just going to end it. Because generally, like, this has not gone well for me whatsoever with most of these demos. Then again, it's my first time playing most of them, so I'm not going to know how to play them. But however, I think I could have done a lot better on Assault Rigs, so I'm going to try and work this out now. Let's do it one last time and see what we can do. Entering arena. Okay, right. What do these do? Okay. That's that's shoot. That's straight. This turns, twists, turns. Square does this, which I want it like that. Um <laughs> Maybe I don't actually have anything. Maybe I'm supposed to press something. No, I actually don't know. Oh, maybe this is actually really. Anyway, it says I can change. Yeah, I can change. Um, what the fuck. Well, I'm just gonna have to go with it and try, aren't I? There. Right, let me put one of these diamonds up. Okay, there's 21 red diamonds, so I'm guessing the red diamonds are collectibles, I'm guessing, I don't know. <laughs> go away! Oh my god, go away, man. Go away! Great shot! Oh, this is silly. I can't take it. Oh, what the? No. They're back again. Oh, you know what? Fuck this. I can't be asked. Honestly, like, you know, I can't work that game out. Start select, I just can't be honest. You know, uh, fuck it. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to play that game. It's just how it is. <laughs> it's the same shit every time. Um, but there you go. Um, that was Euro Demo number five. Um, honestly, lame. Lame as fuck. That sucked balls. I don't know, my gameplay sucked balls. Um, there you go. So, verdict, Mickey Mouse, I couldn't see half what was going on, half the time of the thing, uh, a 
salt breaks. <laughs> we, we don't need to mention about that. Um, actor shock, uh, actor, uh, actor soccer, or actor football. Nice little video showing us how things were made, like how the game was made. Pretty decent, especially for 1995. Would have preferred better camera angles, but hey, this is. Um, Lone Soldier, pretty fun, just a bit difficult. Thunderhawk, again, not exactly clear where you're supposed to do and where you're supposed to go, and the draw distance wasn't fun on that whatsoever. Couldn't see where I was aiming most of the time, but generally, I could see the fun in it. Total NBA. Other than that small little hiccup with the demo, uh, when it reset when I went to the control section for whatever reason, it was a uh, pretty fun. But overall, this is mediocre. Pretty pants demo, to be honest. Uh, I don't know why I wasted so much money buying this one, but there you go. Um, it's part of the collection, isn't it? So yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna take this disc out and uh, yeah get on with my day so thank you very much for watching and uh yeah goodbye